so intense to go there because I spent almost a year in jogging, no makeup, and all of a sudden I'm on TV in front of 10 million Americans. Montrealer Gabriela Laberge made it to one of North America's biggest stages and wowed the judges on America's Got Talent when not that long ago her only venue was a home where she wrote her songs alone. Being in the apartment for almost a year writing songs, finally got it, be, being able to express myself, it felt like a relief. La Berge started playing the violin when she was six and singing quickly followed. Her goal was always to live of music. She was seen five years ago on The Voice France when all four judges turned their chairs around for her after her interpretation of Coldplay's The Scientist. This time, La Berge put her own spin on James Blunt's Goodbye My Lover with Simon Cowell almost pressing his red buzzer as she started the performance by playing the violin. COVID-19 has put a strain on artists in the past year. Being unable to perform during live concerts, La Berge decided to focus on working on her third album, hoping that her performance on the popular television contest would help her reach her professional goals. I'm not expecting anything from the competition right now. I don't have any uh, answer. I don't know if I will make it to the next round. It's weird, but that that's the truth. Um, so this... The audition is, is what goes around internet and stays for a long and long time. So that was the important part. I'm so hollow, baby. I'm so I'm so the only thing I wanted to do is, to, you know, to, to have the best experience, to, to share my passion. My passion is the stage, is to play, is to sing, is to connect with people. And that's all I wanted to do. So um, it's very great that it turned out well, and that will allow me to hopefully travel more, meet more people around the world and do keep doing what I do. In Montreal, Sam Sarah Rainville, City News.